Hello students, how are you doing today? I'm sure that you are doing great. Hopefully, you remember what we have discussed in the previous lesson. But for today, I've just come with a new lesson. That is like and us. What in about like and as? Yeah, like as used in different ways. It can be used as a preposition. Okay, and we can use it before a noun or a pronoun. Yeah, we have to know for. Let's say, for instance, for example, you look like your sister. What we mean that, look, you look like your sister. In other words, like is used as a noun or a pronoun. He ran like the wind. Come on again. It's like a dream. Look at all these are nouns and this one that is a pronoun, of course. Right? Like is preceded with what? Noun and it's a pronoun. It's a form. The way how we use that is like. If you like, you can use like in different contexts too. Let's see. Look. He is good at some subjects like mathematics in historical places like Ethiopia, etc. In this context, like is functioned as to express or to give examples. Uh, in order to give examples, you can use it. Look now. As is functioned as, it comes before a noun or a pronoun. Similarly, we can use like to give some more examples. Uh, in other words, in historical places like Ethiopia is also example. This is the function of what? Like in short. Uh, when it comes to in the case of that is as, it is functioned as a conjunction. We use it as before a clause. And before an expression beginning with what? An expression beginning with a preposition. As has different functions in such contexts. So, look at so some of the examples here now. Nobody knows her as I do. It is used as what? A clause. What makes it a clause? It that is, you know, I, there is do the verb here now. But in other words, as may show different purposes. In order to express your purpose, you can use it as. In order to express the function, we can use it that is as. In order to express the position of something, we can use that is as. Right? Say, let's, let's say for instance, they, she often drinks tea with me, as they do in China. As they do in China. Still now, it is functioned as what? as a clause. Look the difference. On Friday as on Tuesday, we can use it as on Tuesday. In the case of the date, we can use it in such contexts. On Friday as on Tuesday, the meeting will be at 8.30. So, the function of as is used as conjunction 
whereas conjunction in other words in order to join two sentences together. That means one sentence is right dependent clause zarzawari that is an independent clause. You will simply to show you that what dependent and independent clause these two sample examples are enough. She often drinks tea with the meal as they do in China. Let's say as they do in China is was that that is dependent clause. What are this is an independent clause. She often drinks tea with the meal. An independent clause. So we can use in such context. It's not only that, as also used as, right, with different expressions or with different contexts. Let me give you that one example. Good. He uses a plate. He uses a plate as an ash tree. Look at. He uses a plate as an ash tree. Don't say like an ash tree. You know why? Don't be confused about right the form that I gave you previously. This implied that the function. This tells us about the function. He uses a plate. You know, everybody knows plate means plate means a kind of equipment which is available at home in order to have our meal, right? That is a plate. Whereas that person uses the plate uh, after just smoking, he puts the trash of a cigarette. Therefore, as here now, just a function. Let me give you that another example again. It's okay. He uses a bedroom as an office. What is the function of his bedroom? No, just an office. It is functioned as an office. Everything is available there, in other words, right? There is a desktop there. There are some files there, okay, on the shelves, right? Different kinds of stationary materials are available in his bedroom. Therefore, his bedroom is functioned as an office. He brings every tasks in the office, he usually brings at home, and completes his tasks there. So in such a case, don't say that like an office. No, as an office. That's why. Still now, it is what? A purpose. That's it. Many thanks. And similarly, right? Look, let's, let's say, for instance, right? Some of, some of the some of the schools have been as a hospital, right? Some of the schools have been used as a hospital. In other words, this statement also tells us about function. This is another form of us, right? These are really schools, but due to different problems, due to different reasons, Right? The concerned body might be used to those schools as different purposes. Therefore, we can use it for purpose. The purpose is, is over that. That's it. Now, let's see. We used to say what function a person or thing is has, what jobs people do, what things are used for. Look, these are a very important issue about our structure. I tried to give you some uh, examples in the previous, and then based on that, you can conclude that what function? When a person expresses his function, you can use it that is as, or what they think it is function as. Take for instance, she uses her shoes as a hammer. She uses her shoes as a hammer. 
Don't say like a hammer. That is, its function is a hammer. Right? She has no any hammer at all. Yeah, and instead of nailing what? The nails or hammering the nail, she uses her shoes. That means in such a case, we can use that is us. That means it is functioned. And what jobs people do. That means, let me give you that, an example, for instance. He acts as a school director. He acts as a school director. Or she acts as a manager of the company. She acts as the manager of a company. That means she's not a manager. What she acts like the position of that duty, that job speciality. The same is true in the case of the school, does it? Therefore, this is another function of what? As. What things are used for? That's it. Some sample examples are clear for you. In order to understand this structure, as in like, he worked as a waiter for two years. Look, don't say like a waiter. Don't forget that, that I have told you earlier, when you say that like structure usually goes with noun and the pronoun, yeah, in the case of this context, it's not correct. That has to be what? Contextualized. As if you are high school students, you have to know all these things. I have already said some of the function of, some of the purpose of, some of what? The use of this language structure that is as. It's very important. Don't be confused about that. Of course, as a waiter, it is a noun, definitely. Yeah, with a like structure, usually preceded by noun and pronoun. I have already said so far. But we don't mean that it's always true. But in some contexts, when we are using a structure, in the case of conjunction, we have to think or just underline or give emphasis on these issues too. Please don't use your plate as an ashtray. Yeah, this is an interesting one. Got it here now. Please don't use your plate as an ashtray. You see? Plate, this everybody knows. It is a, it's a kind of equipment. Yeah, it's a kind of goods which is available at home. We usually use for sake of having something. Whereas this man, right? Let's take this person, uses this an ashtray. So as to put the trash of the cigarettes on it. But it's not. But in such a case, as an ashtray, look now, this is an example how things are used for. This is another issue. Good. Next to this, a very interesting topic that we are going to see that is an adverb. Student is. I'm sure that you are familiar to this word, what an adverb mean. Wow. We learn it in different grade level, when you're in junior class, when you're in the elementary class, at the same time in the high school too. Of course, your teachers might have taught you or they, I'm sure that they have already taught you or discussed with them uh, based on this language structure. Adverb is one part of language speech. We have to know very carefully and we have to know seriously about this. But in some cases, few students do have difficulties to identify an adverb among the given sentences. You know why? Because they don't know the function of an adverb. Just let me remind you, of course. You have already learned it, but let me remind you what you have taught so far about adverbs. Right? Adverbs do have different functions in different sentences. Adverbs may modify what? A verb. What do you mean by that, modify, man? How? How could it be? Don't worry, just I will give you some sample examples that are listed there. And then an adverb also functioned as an adjective. It modifies an adjective. And we can use also two adverbs at the same time in one sentence. This is in other words what you call it. Another adverb modifies adverb. Two adverbs are possible in one sentence. In what context? Just we'll see it in simple and easy examples. And finally, that is a preposition. So simply, just an adverb to remind you 
about different kinds of adverb means an adverb that modifies that's a manner, an adverb that is modified that is a state, okay, an adverb which tells us about what time, it's maybe that is duration, okay, it's maybe frequency, it may tell us about reason, a place, etc. All these are adverbs you have already learned it in the previous grade level. I've just come here now to remind you and refresh you, your knowledge, of what you had before. Good, let's see. They played well. Look, this is an adverb. Well is an adverb. Well is an adverb. What does it modify? The word what? Played, that is a verb. This is what we call it, an adverb that modifies a verb. This is an adverb, it modifies this one. Okay? Therefore, how do they play? That's well. Most of the time, just we can identify this kind of adverbs by asking the question that is how, right? Go back to your previous lesson and then revise what their function and in what way do we identify this kind of adverbs in different sentences. Wither Aster is a very popular teacher. Good. Very popular teacher. Which one is an adverb? An adverb is a word which is written in bold. Look at on the screen. Wither Aster is a very popular teacher. That's it. That's it. An adverb here it is. It modifies an adjective popular. Right? That's it. And similarly, the show ended quite late. Yeah. The show ended quite late. An adverb that modifies another adverb. That's it. These two are both adverbs, right? Or you can use it in two ways, in two different ways. Quite modify that's late or late modify that is quite. There are two adverbs here now, possible. It is one uh, pattern of the sentence while we are using what? An adverb in the sentence. And finally, they went straight into the class. Yeah? Straight. That is, straight is an adverb, whereas into is that is a preposition. So these are common and basic function of an adverb at your level. Whereas if you like to remember about what you learned so far in the previous grade level, you can revise it about manner, state, frequency, time, etc. Okay, good. And then there are different kinds of adverbs in English. Very nice, interesting one. Yeah, well, I've already stated here now. Manner, time, okay? Duration, frequency, degree, intensifiers, and that is place. We have to know that intensifying adjectives. So these are some sample examples for each forms what manner means, what time means, what duration, what does frequency means. The train went fast. How did the train go? Or how did the train go fast? Therefore, in such a case, it's obvious that this is an adverb of manner. It's okay? So, manner. Usually, asked by the question word that is how. I spoke to him this morning. I spoke to him this morning. There is an adverb here now. Which one is the adverb? Here you have. This is a time adverb. That's all. That's all. Similarly, look now. I have seen him since January. Since when? Since January. In such a case, we can see here now what? The duration of time. This is what we call it. In other words, adverb of duration. He is always late. You can see him now. Right? So there is an adverb of frequency here now. Always is, or is always, is beautifully just written, would always, never tried, hard enough, etc. Look at this. What I want to show here now with that, not to talk about, right? The adverbs, and we have to know also the position where does uh, the lie in each sentence. So when it comes in the first case, always how it lies in different sentences. Always. He is always late. He would always have 
always comes between the two verbs. This is a verb to be before the adverb, right? Before an adverb, there is always, always late. Both are adverbs, actually. That's why we sometimes we call it that is an adverb that modifies. An adverb is a very, very, very good example of whatever it is. This K sentence imply that to show as how is he let, how often he is let, always. That's always. He's a late camel. In the position of always, again, you see, in the first case, it comes after the verb to be. In the second case, it's between the two verbs, the modal verb and the main verb. That is always comes here now. Right? He would always have been late. He never tried hard enough. Never tried. In the case of never, it is an adverb, definitely. Right? This kind of adverb is what we call them that are frequency uh, adverbs, frequency adverbs. So you simply just uh, revise what you have learned it so far. Yeah, similarly, I've known Tadessa for five years. For definitely, this one is a sentence which stands for duration of time. Yeah, we can see this duration of time in the case of learning uh, present perfect tense, right? And the point of view and the period of time in such a case. The film was quite wonderful, quite wonderful. You see, quite wonderful. An adverb. Look, this is an adjective. This is quite is an adverb. It's okay. Abel is a very nice man. Very nice man. It's an adverb that modifies an adjective. The same context. It works not too good, right? Too good. That is a degree. The idea has very much interested me. Similarly, look, this is a very interesting one. Interested me. The idea has very much interested me, it seems that an adjective definitely, but for some of the students it seems that it's a verb is not, but it is preceded by the, the pronoun, that is me, therefore it function as an adjective, that's why because much is here now, and then an adjective, very adjective, and similarly we can describe it as a form of adjective. We find Indians everywhere, it's an adverb of place, definitely, right? everywhere is an adverb of a place. So in general, what you think about these adverbs are different functions in a sentence. What you have to know is that the four one, that is an adverb that modifies a verb, an adverb that modifies an adjective, an adverb that modifies another adverb, a very important issue that you, know, you have to know about. Okay, thank you so much, students. That's all we have for today. Till then, goodbye, students.